Welcome back to my hell world, which is a living hell. No, it's fun. I'm having fun. Um, but I am in a hurry. I've got to get something done quick before the stranger returns, because if I don't, I am a dead man. If you do not create a protective sanctuary for all of the items I have brought to you, you will die. Hey, what? The stranger is going to kill me if I don't do this. Uh, oh. Okay, so these are the items that the stranger gave to me and has asked me to protect. And to more than that, I have to create some sort of structures to, uh, to, to hold and, uh, you know, conserve these items. So uh, I think an aquarium is obvious, but I don't have a lot of time. So there's something I want to do with these oak saplings. And these flowers. Let's use these. It's going to be difficult in a short amount of time uh, to get everything done that he wants me to get done. So I'm going to do something else. I hope this works. I actually do not know if it's going to work. So you can see what I'm doing, right? Planting oak saplings in front of flowers. I think this only works with oak and birch. It's not a very high chance, but eventually you will get a beehive. Uh, like a so. Welcome back to Earth, my bee, my, my bee bros. While waiting to show my bee bros to the stranger, I decided to mess around with the masons and I got some dripstone. Pretty big because I can't get dripstone in any other way on this planet. Uh, only one of these masons is selling it, which is kind of crazy. I'm so bored I go ahead and begin on the dripstone farm, but I need stalactites. Maybe the uh, stranger will bring uh, those dripstone uh, prezzies. Foreshadowing. I was trading with a Fletcher when all of a sudden... Whoa, where did you come from? Another dimension. Okay. What is back there? This is very interesting. Uh, nothing. There is nothing back here. Now tell me truthfully, Exit Flagger, did you do what I asked or will I have to destroy you? Hold on one second. Just give me a sec. Jeez, I, I have to show you something. My patience is depleted. You are out of time. I'm still making the sanctuaries, but look, please look. Come here, B. What is this? A honey bee? <laughs> That's right. I brought back the bees. Uh, but how could you do what I could not? Ha. Well, it's very simple, really. I, it involved oak saplings and flowers, which, I, you know, I got those from you. I'm actually surprised you don't know how to do it yourself. <laughs> Very well, Exit Flagger. You have impressed me. I am not going to kill you after all. And that's how I saved Christmas. He sold me some more stuff, including pointed drippies, which I honestly had no idea this was going to happen. How could I? Uh, it's kind of perfect. No saplings. Kelp might be interesting. I guess I have to preserve the kelp now. Great. So now the stranger and I are true besties. I really wish he would bring me some saplings because that's what friends do for each other. Anyway, it's time to actually make these sanctuaries that I've promised. I always had a vision that there would be a sort of clinical lab space in the back caves here. Very modern and clean. And don't forget the aquarium. Same aesthetic, but closer to my base over here. You know, with the dripstone that I got from the stranger, um, the, I, I've got guys giving me dripstone, uh, but look, 
with the dripstone spikes, whatever these are called, stalactites. Uh, you know, I forgot some lava here. Um, I didn't film it, but I burned myself alive. And we've got water so I can grow some more of these uh, spikies. I could use another one over here. Hey. Um, we're going to see if this fills, if this is my new lava source. I got to move this. I got to have an actual like uh, mini super smelter, like not super. What would it be if it's not a super smelter, but it's better than like a, uh, an adequate smelter somewhere with like the, you know, where I'm cooking everything and the lava is right next to it. This is not big enough anymore. I need a new home, but that's not what we're doing. Uh, Eventually, I need to give myself a new home. It's as simple as that, really. But today, uh, we're going to create an aquarium. Little tiny little aquarium here. I mean, it's bigger than the one that I had as a child in my home, but smaller than the Boston aquarium. Okay, so it's in the middle there. Uh, between Exactly between those two. Uh, and how are we going to do that, Exit Flagger? First water uh, bucket clutch. Um, and what do I need to... It's a good question, actually. I'm just filling this up with water, and I haven't even decided how I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here. Uh, I've got some blocks with me. Mud, dirt, sand, moss, mossy cobblestone. We're going to use this to kind of decorate... Yeah, I could put some of this stuff down now and just make my life easier. Less, it's just like less that I have to fill with water, you know? So, easy. I gotta fill every freaking block, don't I? Do I? got kelp too and that's going in here the kelp is going in here you know what i think i should do last <laughs> the puffer fish yeah i am trust me i'm smart enough to know that the puffer fish go last don't worry about me oh uh, it's so nice it's oh i'm drowning i'm dead i'm gonna drown okay Not great. I'll be honest, it doesn't look perfect. What on earth? Oh, come on. I thought they fixed the walls. And voila, it's quite simple, you see. Um, you need solid blocks of glass to hold in the water. Otherwise, it won't work. <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> How does it look? Ouch. Get out. Why is this happening? You guys ready for your new home? Oh, look how happy they are in there. They're so happy. Look at them. Ah, uh, they're actually kind of cute. Okay. So we are preserving the puffer fish. We have saved their lives as well as the uh, the fire coral. Now, that means that this this doesn't make a whole lot of sense over here. What do I want to do? I should have thought this through. Because there really should be a little walkway in front of the actual aquarium, right? I mean, I should be able to be able to view it from someplace that makes sense. Good. Okay. With the aquarium finished and Puff Daddy's doing puff things, it's time to return to the other build. Looking good, but now we have to get the interiors resolved. I'm using bone blocks because of the skelly spawner. I just I just have a ton of bone. Uh, little quartz mixed in as well.
and uh, natural lights. So I am all done with the structures that I wanted to build here. I've got the aquarium here and uh, <laughs> look at these guys. I, I kind of love having these puffer fish here. They're kind of fun. They, uh, they blow up when you get close like little balloons. They're so happy to see me. Um, but I want to extend the walkway. Uh, kind of make more of a walkway past the aquarium and especially create a real solid path leading to ta -da, my my little sanctuary uh, canisters. I don't know what I'm even going to call these. Let's look inside. Uh, I'm going to bring some villagers in here. They're going to be my, uh, my scientists uh, trying to research uh, the lily pads that the stranger brought us. Oh, how do these work? How do we uh, propagate and conserve? Conserve, conservation, and propagation. Upstairs we have, uh, I got to put some other things in here. Uh, well, we got vines. <laughs> They're studying vines up here. Uh, spoiler, the vines are going to cover everything. They cover every block. Uh, they, they're already covering the inside of the glass. Yeah, this is just going to be completely covered in vines, but that's good. We only had 12 vines to start with. So we are propagating and conserving the vines and I'll have some other stuff in here too. The, the scientists will have all kinds of things to play with. Maybe we'll put some saplings in uh, some pots for them to take a look at. Oh yes. Okay. So I left a little opening here because there's this big cave in the back Actually, it goes back even further. You go back here, you can see um, got this aqu aquifer underground pond. Oh, it goes down even further down here. And over here, uh, this cave just goes on forever, right? But there's a lot back here that I could actually still kind of work with. If I need the space, I've got it. And I think I will. I think I'll use this for an auto farm of some sort. Uh, and it'll just be kind of hidden behind these uh, sort of futuristic research tubes. I think they look great, actually, in the cave. What does it look like when you fly in? I mean, even from here, look at it. It looks pretty good. I think it's starting to look kind of cool. Yeah, they look pretty good. Uh, but I want to get a proper walkway back here. I clean this up a little bit. And uh, I want to terraform the cave wall, uh, make it mossier, more textured. You'll see. In a second, you'll see exactly what I mean. Oh, I've got a, uh, uh, I've got a creeper farm back here. Look. <laughs> see? Not too bad. Look. I... I don't use rockets very much. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, there was a, looks like there were some skellies in here. Why would there be skellies? Maybe the jockeys? Yeah, they're, they're spawning on spiders. Okay. Tons of gunpowder. For me, at least. I'm not using rockets for very much. You know, we're, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just using the rockets here in my base, and I, I honestly, I don't use them very often. Um, so that's the plan. Let's do that. So I terraformed the cave walls, just some random blocks to sort of contain my base. As I was transforming the wall in the back, I had a vision of a proper greenhouse framed by the cave here, so I kept building. Slightly different block palette. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good am I at a, as a builder? I would say that I'm like a 6. What? What's that? A 9? A 10? Oh, you're, you're too kind. 
A 20 million? Okay, you're just being ridiculous. Go to your room. I bring the bees over so that we can protect and propagate them and study them in this very scientific setting. So I've been waiting for the stranger to come back, and he is not going to return ever again. Seriously, it's been over 100 days in the game since I last saw the Wandering Trader. I think it's broken. In character, though, I think he's very proud of me and doesn't think I need his help any longer. So I think that's where we're going to end this. Come back soon for the fourth and final episode in the Hell World Trilogy. That's a Douglas Adams joke. I know what a trilogy is. We'll see if the stranger ever does return to my bosom. What do you, what is he talking about? Okay, goodbye. Uh...